Hello and welcome to this new video. I'm going to do a quick rundown of some archery terminology. So let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about is the bow. Now your bow has two faces. Believe it or not, you have the front of the bow and the back of the bow. I know it seems backwards, but that's because this is what you face when you're shooting the bow. That's why this side is the front and this side is the back. Your bow also has three main components to itself. You have the lens, which are what flex and get the bow power. And then between the lens, you have what's referred to as the riser. The riser is typically also where the handle is located, right here. And you also will knock your arrows across on top of or beside the riser, depending on the kind of bow you have. Next, you have your string, which is this piece here. The string has what's called serving. Serving is that thicker cord in the center and the two ends of your string. The serving is very important for the health of your string. Always make sure your serving is intact before you shoot and after you shoot. Other good piece of advice for your bow, wax the part that is not the serving with beeswax or uh, it's called like archer snot and then take a piece of paper and run it up and down real fast until it gets hot and that will keep your string nice and waxed. Now other parts of the bow would include the horns, which are these pieces here where you knock the bow at. And then if you have it, would be an arrow rest which would sit on the side of your bow and you place the arrow on top of said rest, or a shelf, which is a cut into the bow's riser that allows you to place an arrow on top of the riser. A arrow rest provides less friction on the arrow, creating a further range shot, and also creating a more true shot that will be more accurate in the long run. Shooting off the shelf is one step below that, and shooting with no shelf, like my bow is set up, is a step below that in terms of accuracy and range due to friction. So those are all the terminologies for the bow, pretty much for what you'd see in Amphard. Now I'm going to go over an arrow. An arrow has three main components, and the three secondary components is how I'll break it down. You have what are referred to as the point, the shaft, and the knock. The knock gets knocked into the string and then drawn back. The shaft transfers that energy from the bow down to the head. The head strikes your target. Pretty simple. Now, secondary parts are referred to as fletchings, veins, or sometimes feathers. Veins technically refers to rubber fletchings. Fletchings is an overall arching term for all kinds of veins. Um, and then you have feathers with the feathers. Mine are technically veins, but these kind of fletchings are rubberized little bits. You'll most typically see them set in sets of three like this, with two normal colored veins and one off-color vein. The off-color vein is referred to as your cock vein and your cock vein is what faces on the opposite side of your bow. So if I were to knock this on my string, the way I shoot, you see that my cock vein is facing away from the riser. If you were to knock it the quote-unquote normal way, where you go across the bow, you see I maintain that same orientation of the cock vein facing away from the riser. Now to go over parts of your gear, you have a finger glove or a finger tab. A glove is a glove. A tab would have one little piece of fabric typically that slips over a single finger and then covers three digits with a piece of leather or several pieces of leather in some cases. Um, I prefer gloves for traditional archery because it provides more dexterity so I can manipulate my arrows better and wield a sword actually. Um, then you have a secondary glove which goes on your bow hand if you're shooting without a shelf. I definitely recommend one of these otherwise you can get a pretty gnarly cut in between the welding of your hand. Then you have an arm guard. An arm guard creates less pressure on the string when it hits your forearm and more likely than not you will hit your forearm even if you are able to turn your elbow away from the bow and you have proper uh, shoulder alignment you're probably still going to hit a part of your forearm. I've been shooting for years and I get a dime sized dot right here every shot with my bow. So it also protects you from the bow to make sure you don't get injured. Now one of the pieces of gear that I have that a lot of archers on the field don't have is called a chest protector. It's this piece of leather right here. What this does is it compresses any kind of clothing that I'm wearing against my chest. So when the bowstring goes across my body, it's less likely to catch on a piece of clothing and be slowed down by that. Now the other thing that the chest protector does, in large specifically, is giving me a point of armor, so that's a plus. But in general, what it also does is it creates a smooth surface for the string to move across, so that if it does hit your chest, there's less friction, meaning there's less transfer of energy lost to your shot, creating a more consistent shot that has better range. So those are all the basics of the gear that you can have for archery. If there's something I missed, let me know in the comments down below. If there's something that you are curious about that you don't know, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get that answer in a future video. I hope this helped you and I hope this will help you 
refer to the parts of your equipment more accurately and with more knowledge. Have a great day, everybody.